Hey everyone, and welcome to Tony for Beyond Good and Evil. I mean Tony for you. When it comes to demons, it seems like there's an endless treasure trove of unique and horrifying entities to learn about. The word itself brings to mind something unique to each person that hears it. The word angel, however, elicits less fantastical imagery. Usually, an angel is seen as little more than a human with lily-white wings and a halo, and to those who dig a little bit deeper, maybe they're aware of the biblically accurate angels floating around. The most common depictions are rarely the most accurate, however. With Abrahamic religions being so prolific and inspiring many other spiritual practices, there's much more to the holy side of the divine spectrum than many might initially think. Let's go over just a few angelic beings from many religions that have been forgotten to time and learn more about the roles they serve in each one. But before we get into that, I'd like to talk about today's sponsor, Atlas VPN. Grab the big deal because now Atlas VPN Premium is just $1.83 per month plus 3 months extra and with a 30 day money back guarantee. Protect your privacy and get the many benefits of Atlas VPN for this ridiculously low price. You can take this deal by clicking the link in the description below. Be quick as it's a limited offer. Atlas VPN was developed by top cybersecurity specialists and IT engineers back in 2019. Their goal was to make the internet accessible and secure for everyone. More than 6 million users worldwide enjoy the benefits of Atlas VPN, including keeping your Google searches private, unlocking your favorite content from all over the world, stopping ads and blocking all malicious links, getting the best deals while shopping online, including everything from online subscriptions like Netflix or airlines, and especially useful, protecting any number of devices with just one subscription. So, if you're ever struck with the inspiration to research a topic, no matter where you are, scroll knowing you're secure. You get all these perks and still it's the best VPN deal on the market. So, what are you waiting for? Grab the big deal because now, as I said, Atlas VPN Premium is just $1.83 per month plus 3 months money back guarantee. Protect your privacy and get the many benefits of Atlas VPN for the ridiculously low price. You can take this deal by clicking the link in the video description below. But be quick, as it's a limited offer. Thanks Atlas for sponsoring the video. First up is Sraosha, who is a Yazata, or worthy of worship, sometimes also translated to angel in Zoroastrianism. Zoroastrianism is an ancient Iranian religion that not only influenced the Abrahamic religions we have today, but the entirety of the world as we know it. Beginning in Iran approximately 1500 BC with the birth of the prophet Zarathustra, later called Zoroaster by the ancient Greeks. Before it was called Zoroastrianism, followers believed in Mazdayazna, meaning worshippers of Mazda. Sadly, not much is known about the specifics of Zoroaster's life, despite him being such an important figure. But what we do know is that prior to him becoming a great prophet, he was a priest of the predominant religion of the time. And over the years, he developed a great disdain for his society. Roaming bands of warriors pillaged the land in a drunken stupor, happily performing acts of sadism with no repercussion. The citizens lived in constant fear for their safety, and the priests of the time believed the only way to improve their lives were to perform rituals and sacrifices to their gods. For years, Zoroaster suffered under the draconic ways of his people until the age of 30 when he received a vision. As he went to fetch water in the nearby river, a being of pure and righteous light appeared before him, named Ahura Mazda. This being explained he was the one true god, and chose Zoroaster as the one who would see the truths of the universe. After having all revealed to him, Ahura Mazda sent Zoroaster on a divine mission to spread the truth to all who would listen. Now I'll try to sum up the core beliefs of Zoroastrianism. There is one true God in Ahura Mazda, the all-knowing, all-good and all-powerful, responsible for everything that is positive in the world. He is supported by six immortal beings called Emesha Spentas, very much like the archangels of Abrahamic faith. Also, there is a being entirely opposed to Ahura Mazda, named Angra Menu, the holy, evil, deceitful, and destructive. Accompanied by his demon-like beings called Devas, he is responsible for all that is negative in the world. In the beginning of time, these two spirits were separated by an infinite void of light and darkness respectively. In time, Ahura Mazda created the corporeal world in purity, devoid of any imperfection before Angra Menu appeared and wreaked havoc on the land. Despite all this, some good came from it. As Angra Menu now resides in physical space, he can be defeated with the purity of the world. Through prayer and properly conducting one's life, damage is done to the evil Angra Menu, and if the people of this world unite to oppose the darkness, we can return to perfection. As for Sraosha, this being is the messenger of Ahura Mazda himself, his name meaning hearing in Avestan, the ancient language spoken at the time. 
He is the embodiment of the Divine Word and main intermediary between Ahura Mazda and humanity, while also being a holy warrior, crushing the skulls of all those who would do harm to humanity, his main weapon being the prayers of humans. In Shin Megami Tensei, Suraosha is depicted as a glossy, almost alien-looking being holding a scroll and draped in a red cloth. In contemporary lore, Suraosha is often depicted as a strong and holy youth, so the design choice here is very strange. Although, this type of design is also in line with how other Zoroastrian beings are depicted in the series, so maybe the artist just enjoyed the concept. Despite it not being the most accurate, it definitely is eye-catching, so I thank the artists, because as Zoroaster said, happiness comes to them who bring happiness to others. Aniel and Kasfiel are next, and are very unique Abrahamic angels. First depicted in very early Jewish works, and despite having similar names, occupy incredibly different roles in the Kingdom of Heaven. Starting with Aniel, also called Haniel, whose name means God is my grace, often cited as being one of the seven main archangels of the Hebrew Bible. He is associated with the planet Venus and the Svirot Nizah, meaning everlastingness on the Kabbalistic Tree of Life. In Jewish mysticism, or Kabbalah, the Tree of Life is a diagram with ten points called Svirot through which the god Ein Sof radiates throughout the known universe, with Keter or crown at the top and Malkuth or kingdom at the bottom. And on the tree, Aniel's domain is very close to humanity. He is seen as the angel of grace, victory, and joy, whose role is as the chief of the angelic order of virtues. The virtues are angels that watch over the heavenly body to ensure order as well as performing miracles on earth. With the duties of moving the very stars and giving grace to humans, their leader Haniel holds incredible power and importance in the Kingdom of Heaven. After hundreds of years, the seven archangels dwindled down to the main four we know today, Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, and Raphael, leaving the likes of Haniel to become more obscure. In Shin Megami Tensei, Aniel is a six-winged angelic creature with blue skin and flowing blonde or sometimes white hair. Much like the virtues he governs, his body is a deep blue, blending in with the cosmos, with his lower body being completely hidden. His posture is open and welcoming, and his eyes are closed, seemingly deep in prayer or contemplation. Aniel's six wings are similar to a seraphim's, lending to his station being rather high in heaven as an archangel, much like seraphim being the highest order of angel in angelology. Kasviel is an angel with a much darker side to his origin compared to Aniel. According to Jewish mystical literature, Kasviel, originally spelled Kasviel with a Q, is one of the seven archangels and represents the planet Saturn. His name means God is my wrath, oddly enough, and was later referred to as Angel of Oaths. In antiquity, his duty was as the ruler of the seventh heaven, the realm where God's throne lies, and also the leader of the choir of powers in heaven. Powers are angels whose chief duty is to combat the forces of Lucifer's demons by distributing power to worthy humans on Earth. With this duty, the Order is also very concerned with matters of philosophy and ideology in their choice to distribute power, and are obviously closely tied to the human race. With Kasfiel being their leader, we can assume he has much the same ideals, and he is even closely associated with the Metatron, heavenly scribe and voice of God. Kasfiel was also believed to be the ruler of time and temperature, as well as given the duty to rule over the deaths of kings, rulers, and leaders, in turn making him one of the many angels of death. The dark aspect of Kasfiel comes with his depiction in the Book of Enoch, specifically the Book of Parables. In this text, the angel called Kasbiel was given the responsibility of two oaths. The first oath was Bekah a secret word that Kasbiel asked Archangel Michael the meaning and pronunciation of, upon which he was refused an answer. In truth, the oath revealed the angels that were to fall and become the watchers to descend to the earth and show the secrets of heaven to man, the punishment of that sin being the slaughter of their children and an eternity in hell. The second oath was Akai, which revealed the cycles of the earth. Some texts allude to Caspiel being a fallen or, at the very least, deceitful angel, as some translate his name to be he who lies to God, aiming to go beyond his duties to keep the oaths, rather wanting to wield them for his own benefit, though none of this is confirmed in official biblical scripture. Caspiel in SMT is portrayed in much the same way as Aniel, with six seraphic wings, but this time short green hair and yellow wings. The body is noticeably different. Instead of the more passive demeanor of Aniel with his eyes closed and arms outstretched, Caspiel has his eyes wide open and holds a sword in his dominant hand facing off to the side. 
His eyebrows are what look like peacock feathers, oddly enough, which could be alluding to his trying to rise above his station through deceitful means, much like how a peacock attempts to appear bigger through what could be seen as untruthful means, though that is probably a stretch. Either way, these two demons are simple in design but surprisingly appealing and are based on incredibly interesting angels seemingly lost to time. Next up is Kamael and he's quite an intense spiritual being. His name meaning he who sees God or sometimes wrath of God. He is one of the important ten archangels of the tree of life. He is assigned the planet Mars and is Fidot Gevura, which roughly translates to the essence of judgment. Kamael was an archangel whose domain was war and strength, and he is said to be the chief of the choir of powers in heaven. Though Casfiel was the leader of the powers, many interpret him as the leader in spiritual and philosophical matters, while Kamael was the war chief and general of heaven's armies. When something needed to be done on heaven or on earth, Kamael was the one you would call. Legend has it, Kamael led the force that expelled Adam and Eve from the Garden of Eden, and Lord knows how many battles he waged alongside his fellow powers against the dark forces of Lucifer. Unfortunately though, the Holy See, under jurisdiction of the Pope in 2001, stated, The practice of assigning names to the holy angels should be discouraged, except in the case of Gabriel, Raphael, and Michael, whose names are contained in Holy Scripture. Sorry Uriel, you were left out. Ever since this declaration, the prayer to and veneration of certain named angels, like many in this very video, fell out of favor. And to this day, many have been forgotten to time. So thank you Shin Megami Tensei for carrying on the memory. Kamael's design is that of a large winged human covered head to toe in crimson red armor wielding a sword and shield. With pink skin, green eyes, and flowing white hair, he's prepared for battle against the forces of hell. And looking fierce. It's a rather simple design, but the subtle touch of giving this angel noticeably much more body armor than any of the other archangels is a nice touch to indicate his domain of strength and war. One of the most imposing angels in the entire series, and one I absolutely love. Well, that covers the lesser known angels of SMT. Let me know your favorite in the comments down below, and while you're down there, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I think mine is Kamael. Despite there not being much information on him, his design is just so memorable. Special thanks to Andre Vinicius da Silva Valens, Anton, Big T, Frankie Stoned, Goose Kebab, Jim Taylor, Just a Middleman, Matt M, Stuart Ash, The Digital Dutchman, The Toaster Messiah, VideoGamer75, and many more for supporting the channel on Patreon. If you'd like to support, check the link in the description below. Thanks for watching this esoteric angel breakdown, and I'll see you in the next Tony for You. Have a good one.